Welcome everyone to another World of Warships video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new premium tier 5 Russian battleship. A name that I cannot pronounce, but I did figure out it is October Revolution. That's what it uh, roughly translates to, I guess. Which I can kind of see it in the name, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it uh, the Russian way. So the ship, tier 5. Battleship um, coming out soon. Don't know when. Uh, they leaked pictures of it last week. We do have the stats from the super testers. Uh, so let's go ahead and run through it. On this first one here, you can uh, see that it has a very unique design. Uh, in the very middle picture there, where you're looking uh, top down on it, uh, it almost looks like an Iowa, doesn't it? With that bow and uh, I don't know exactly what that bow is called, but you know how it kind of slopes in to a point in the front. Almost kind of looks like a, a bird. Uh, definitely looks like an Iowa from the top, minus, you know, the gun configurations, obviously. Uh, from the side, it's got that massive uh, superstructure in, in the front. Uh, so it's definitely got a, a little bit of a fuso in there. Uh, as you take a look at this next slide here, you'll see... Uh, where it gets its roots from is the Nikolai. Definitely looks like the Nikolai in that picture. Uh, the four turrets with the guns. It, it looks it looks fun. The Nikolai was a fun ship. It was a, a seal clubber. If you were good with battleships, you could use the Nikolai and really uh, just torment people with that ship. Uh, I think this ship's going to be a different story. As of right now, with the stats, and we'll take a look at them here in a second. But the stats are, aren't looking so good for this ship. Um, but you know, wargaming they're gonna they're gonna overcompensate for uh, the lack of of stats, just like they did the hood. Uh, so it, it'll probably end up being a, a decent ship, you know, when it's all said and done. Rather, let's take a look here at the next slide. You can see uh, some of the unique. Uh, features of the ship. You definitely see that really tall superstructure there. You can see uh, quite a few AA mounts all over the ship. So definitely some unique ones here in, in the very front on the bow. You can also see a very unique bow itself. It almost looks like an Atlantic bow, but uh, then it kind of goes the other way there in the towards the actual water line. Uh, so a very, very visually unique ship. I think some people might buy it just for that. All right, let's go ahead and start taking a look at the stats here. As you can see here, Tier 5. So Tier 5 meaning it's going to go up against the, the Congo, the Koenig, the New York, and the Texas as far as other Tier 5 battleships that are already in the game. Uh, just a quick rundown of the stats before we actually go compare them to some of the other ships. Health pool of 42,500, uh, which is not great. Firing range of 16.8, which is also uh, kind of on the low side, which is it's going to be a theme here for this ship. It's going to be just kind of bottom of the barrel. The only thing that's not bottom of the barrel is how many guns it has. It has 12. 12 guns. So as you saw in the other pictures, three guns in each turret and four turrets, but they're only going to be 305 millimeter. So a lot of guns, but not a big caliber. Uh, secondaries, 10 of them. Uh, maximum firing range, 4 kilometers. It's got a ton of air defense, um, but not a lot of anything that looks really good. It's got 76 millimeter, 34 Ks. It's got 6 of them, but I don't know. The AA just doesn't look uh, very impressive judging from that sheet. Even though it does have a lot of them, maybe though maybe the DPS will be good. Uh, maximum speed twenty three knots. Again, kind of better than the Americans, but uh, not as good as the Germans, or definitely not as good as the Japanese. Turning radius is actually pretty decent. Rudder shift is also not bad, and the surface detectability is also uh, pretty good. Uh, right now, we don't know. How we're going to get the ship, if it's going to be uh, purchase it in the premium store, if it's going to be something you can earn. Uh, that's why the super testers or whoever put this uh, stat sheet together 
has the question marks down there. Uh, moving on to the main battery, uh, just a couple of things I want to point out here. Uh, sigma rating of 1.8, which is a little disappointing. You always want the sigma rating of 2. And moving on down to the HE shells, 3360 in damage, uh, alpha damage 4500, um, not that great. 33% uh, uh, burn probability. Or burn percentage rather it's 33 percent that's that's actually pretty good but here's where it's not very good the ap ap alpha damage 8600 that's not that great that's not that great at all that's like two and three thousand uh damage behind uh, some of the other ships uh in tier five so so the ship's definitely going to get buffed but how much and to what extent we don't really know. Uh, this next slide here just kind of shows um, basic consumables, nothing special. Uh, doesn't seem to have any special characteristics right now. All right, moving on with the comparisons here. And we're first going to compare it with the Koenig. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty much down in, in lots of categories. Uh, this first slide here is going to be the Koenig's uh, survivability and AA bump. Uh, 47,000 hit points for the, the Koenig. Uh, 42, obviously, for the October Revolution. So, a little bit down there. Next slide is going to be, if I can click on it correctly, there we go. Uh, next slide is going to be the... Um, range increase on the Koenig. The Koenig's up to 16.5 and the Russian is going to be 16.8. So it's actually better than the Koenig uh, fully upgraded as far as gun range goes. Uh, moving on to the the hull upgrade also for the Koenig. Um, not hull upgrade, the uh, engine upgrade rather. It's going to be up to 24 knots in speed, so just a little bit faster than the the premium Russian. Moving on to the next ship. The next ship is going to be the New York. Uh, considerably down in health and hit points on the New York. New York at 49,000. Again, Russian premium at 42. Uh, so you can really see a trend here as far as... The Russian ship being just uh, a little bit overmatched in a lot of the stuff. It's the New York with the range increase up to 18 kilometers for the New York. You know, kilometer, 1.2 kilometers uh, greater than the Russian. And maneuverability, New York gets up to 21 knots, uh, so a little bit slower than the Russian premium. And last ship we're going to look at in here is going to be the Japanese Tier 5, the Congo, which is, as I stated before, the king of the Tier 5 uh, battleships. I don't see it getting displaced even by a, a, uh, a Russian ship that's obviously going to get buffed. I don't think they'll make it any better than the Congo. So Congo fully upgraded 54,000 hit points. Uh, 12,000, almost 12,000 more than the Russian premium. Moving on to the, the range, with the range buff to the Congo, or not buff, but a module. 21.2 kilometers, just blowing it out of the water as far as range goes, and also speed. You remember the speed uh, with the engine upgrades up to 30 knots. Uh, the engine upgrade bumps it by 5.1 knots in the water. So 30 knots for the top speed, uh, 7 knots more than the, the Russian premium. And that's all the comparisons we're, we're going to do. I, I was kind of making my point there that uh, it's lagging behind. Um, so they, they will fix it. I don't know to what extent they'll fix it, but that's what we're looking at right now. That's the, that's the baseline. I don't think they're going to fix you know, the small caliber of the gun. So that's one thing they're, I don't really think, I think they're kind of stuck with I don't think they can fix that. So 305 millimeters for the guns, uh, 12 of them. So they're probably, 
uh, pretty pretty much stuck around that that 8600 9000 um, alpha damage for the armor piercing shells. Uh, one thing that they can increase, obviously, the range of it, the speed of it. Wargaming does seem pretty consistent with the actual ship displacement uh, being what the the hit points kind of kind of seem to be. Uh, we've seen that with the hood and, and with other ships. Whatever the displacement is is kind of where they get their their health pool from. Uh, so so I think they're going to buff the range and the speed. Is what I think they're going to buff. Other than that, why don't you just take out a Nikolai? Why, why spend money on a new uh, premium Russian? Unless you just like to collect ships, or you like the the unique uh, look of it. Which I mean, it is a it's a good looking ship in my opinion. Um, it's an older ship, so I mean, you can't expect the you know the sleek streamlined stuff of the World War Two and, and after years. Uh, but it's a very unique looking ship, and I think maybe uh, that'll draw some people to get it. Um, but as far as stats goes, they need to buff it, especially if they're ever going to do Tier 5 as a ranked play. I don't think right now this ship would, would ever get picked uh, for that. But that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you spending your time with me. As always, I hope you have a great day.